Hey everybody, uh, thanks for joining. We are on a really nice walk today. Uh, it's a it's warm, gorgeous, yeah, warm 45. And I'm not joking, it really is it warm. It actually feels warm. <laughs> so we're gonna go for a walk, but uh, we're gonna share with you something that we started uh, a long time ago, a but month ago. Uh, a month ago we restarted it here for the first time. Uh, we're doing some hydroponic gardening and we have some results. Uh, and then uh, maybe share with you some uh, plans that we have uh, coming up. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. <laughs> anyway, uh, stay tuned. Thanks for joining us. Uh, just a, a real uh, quick reminder, please like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Um, it really helps us, uh, lets us know, hey, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're doing something. <laughs> we already know that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, so we have a, a really quick but neat update. Uh, we bought into the Magic Key for Disneyland. If you don't know, that's the annual pass. So in the fall, we're looking to activate it. We're planning a yep. trip right now. Yeah. And we're very excited yeah, about it. Yeah, we're excited. Yeah. Uh, pretty neat. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's kind of neat. Uh, we, we haven't had uh, an annual pass for a while because- Not at Disneyland yeah, for a very long time. You know, and if you know the story there, whew, boy, that's been a yeah. uh, convoluted tale of what? Yeah, we got one of the lower range or mm -hmm. um, lower tier, tier. ones. Uh, which means basically like every weekend is out, <laughs> yeah. and all yeah, the holidays right. and the summer. But it's fine. We'll still be able to find, I think, plenty of times to go yeah, yeah. Uh, Sunday through. Um, actually, we do have some Sundays, Sunday through Thursday. Yeah, going going during yeah. the week. It's uh, what we prefer anyway. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, we're excited about that. And so when we go there, uh, we'll be able to share some uh, new things because uh, you know it, it's been a while. And I do want to. I do want to. Uh, offer a, uh, a kind of preliminary shout out to Stephanie Martin with the Stephanie vacation Martin. year. Thank you so much. So here's what happened. The other night we're having a couple of margaritas with a friend of ours over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we're like, let's do this. <laughs> let's yeah. plan a trip. And I'm like, hold on, everybody. Let's get the and expert. We, we uh, went from theoretical, like, yeah, maybe like the last couple of weeks yeah. of September work to yeah, yeah. booking the trip. So yeah. thank Remember, you, Stephanie. Stephanie Martin, the vacation year. <laughs> she is amazing. We got to say she is the best. And it's free, so uh, we'll 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 put we'll put a link in the description. Anyway, uh, anyway, that, if that's you feel like having a few margaritas and <laughs> yeah. like you know, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. semi-impulse booking a yeah. trip, Steph has Steph experience with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's our first uh, kind of quick uh, cool update. Uh, second, we mentioned that uh, Laura started us on an Apple uh, Fitness Plus regimen. We're doing great. Yep. We're keeping up with it. We are. We skipped one day, but we made it up yesterday, so uh -huh. we're we're caught up. Yep. It's about a solid week and a half of uh, dance, Pilates, yoga, core, kickboxing. and kickboxing. Yeah. Um, and boy, do we hurt. Yeah, my feet hurt. My joints. My toes, my knees, my ankles, my, my hips. We're, we weird. mentioned last Weirder. week that we realized that we have not been as active as yeah. we would like. And now that we are trying to be... Our bodies are like, hey, what, what's hey, wrong with you? what? 
Why? Yeah. So that's where we are right yeah, now. But it's that been pretty good. Creaky period. It's been pretty good. You know how it is, right? Uh, when you get on a like a running schedule or any kind of training schedule, one of the neat feelings is, oh, I'm actually uh, maintaining it, sort of. So that's what we're gonna get back yeah, to yeah, very yeah. soon. Uh, and speaking of running. We're going to sign up for a 5K. Uh, Found a race for us to do. In Santa Fe. Uh, it's in May, kind of mid-May. Uh, I think month. we're going to go, yep. That means it's about in a month if it's in mid-May. Mm. So we're going to go, we haven't signed up yet. We'll sign Pretty up sure we'll sign up. Yeah, go yeah. to Santa Fe. Yeah, yeah. Run a 5K. Yeah. Come on. Uh, which is kind of a, uh, a, 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 I guess, return to running. We are still planning on participating in the El Paso, Texas Marathon in February, February of next year. Yeah. We'll probably start training in September, October. Mm -hmm. I haven't really thought that far ahead. But. Yeah. And we'll see how the, uh, we'll see how the weather here um, uh, kind of plays a role into our training schedule. Yeah, the weather I'm not as concerned about. It's the hills. Oh, yeah, we don't have, oh, we don't have flat services. So there. stuff is melting outside. Mm -hmm. um, we tried to go uh, on a trail yesterday. Um, we ended up going for a walk. We had some footage at the beginning of the video of um, a long walk we took yesterday. It was about three and a half miles. Yeah. It was lovely. Yeah, it was. But my plan was to get us to this trailhead and then take the trail for a while. We got there and it was a river because everything's yeah. melting and coming down. Right. So we still have a few weeks i think before we can start hitting those trails or a month i'm yeah. not sure i don't know this is all weird to me <laughs> yeah. but and we're still learning so melting. here we are living in the mountains right we're still learning i mean there's still snow out there we were out there yesterday three and a half mile walk uh it was beautiful i mean it was a gorgeous it was day. what was it 50 degrees it was 45 when we started yeah and it, it's not cold it doesn't feel i know like that it. sounds kind of weird the the lack of humidity here uh kind of you don't have proximity to the sun. Yeah, yeah, right. We're, We're so high close. Up. It's pretty um, warm. But all this snow is melting, so trails are, you know, obviously trails for a lot of things. Uh, and then tomorrow, so I think you can see most of the snow is melted. It's yeah, supposed to snow. Right it's supposed to snow tomorrow. So yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that changes. I need to go pick up some kindling uh, from our yard. Anyway. Um, but we're, you know, we're get, kind of getting back into the oh, doing God. stuff for our bodies. Guys. I think if we wanted to, we could go running on the roads here. Some of them are pretty, so we have dirt roads. Yeah. Some of them are pretty, pretty muddy. Bad. This is yeah. the mud season, apparently. They're pretty gross. But what we were walking yesterday, we could have run. Oh, yeah. That's true. If we wanted to. Yeah, if we want. Yeah, there's the key right so, there. So, <laughs> well, if we sign up for this race in May, we're going to have to go running at least a couple times. Yeah, right. Um, I purposefully picked a 5K so we can kind of ease back into things. Yeah. See how it goes. Yeah. Hey, uh, why don't you uh, why don't you motivate us uh, and send us some uh, messages in the comments? Tell us to sign up for it because I haven't done yeah. it yet. Yeah. 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 So then the last thing is, uh, I think you know this, uh, and if you haven't, we have previous videos. Uh, we purchased uh, several years ago some hydroponic gardens. Uh, the brand is uh, Arrow Garden. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, you know, the hydroponics, it's no soil, it's just water. And, um, you know, we have the, the liquid food and we've grown some things, uh, but we stopped doing it. Uh, we yeah. haven't done it. We stopped doing it because we moved. Yeah. So we had to kind of abandon so, yeah. our, our, our hydroponic gardens. But we started them up, uh, what was it, like a month ago? Mm -hmm. A little over a month ago. And this is from seed. From seed. Uh, we have tomato plants that are this big, mm -hmm. and at least one of them is starting to throw out some flowers, yeah. which is very exciting. That's cool. Because once they bloom, Laura gets to be the bee. I pollinate. I have a yeah, little pollinate. bee thing yeah. that spreads pollen around. We've already, we've already eaten some of our basil. Our basil is blowing up, which is great. I mean, yeah. and it's, you know, again, it's also this big. Yeah, there's more. But there's enough now, and the leaves are large enough that we can actually eat them. Mm -hmm. So we've harvested twice now, and I'm looking at it, and it's already like oh, filled back in yeah, completely. Right. Yeah. Um, so that's cool. We have one dud there that I tried to plant some more seeds in, and still nothing's happening, so I think we're going to have to contact Arrow Garden. They're mm -hmm. supposed to be really good about replacing duds. They yeah. guarantee that they'll yeah. um, take off. Um, but then we also have peppers, and these were ones that we DIY'd. Um, oh, right. So we saved some little cones from previous um, Arrow Garden goes, and we planted cayenne and jalapeno seeds in them. 
I was ready to give up on them. They were so far behind all the other plants. It took them like four weeks to sprout. Yeah. Um, but they're starting to grow now. Yeah. So hopefully we'll have some peppers too yeah. at some point. Um, they're much scrawnier right now. than say the It's really neat it's cool. though, because I mean, there are no pests, you know, you're not dealing with soil or anything. Neither of us has a green thumb, no, but the uh, hydroponics- I can keep though. ivy alive and that's about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm really good with the weeds. Um, but hydroponics is really cool and it's delicious. You know, we have Thai basil, we have mm -hmm. basil, basil. We actually have six different varieties of basil. Purple basil. Lemon basil. Uh, yeah, and I mean, it wow. tastes, it smells wonderful. Uh, so pretty soon we'll have some uh, some uh, cherry tomatoes. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll have hopefully jalapenos and uh, cayenne and you know, we'll, we'll let you know. It, mm -hmm. I mean, it's really neat. One of the things we're contemplating is purchasing a large, I think it's called a farm. Mm -hmm. um, a hydroponic garden uh, where uh, we'll be able to grow like more and the grow lights go higher so you can grow larger plants yeah. and I think you can even set up something to have like viney plants like mm -hmm. squash, squash or eggplant or something like that yeah. kind of grow yeah. and I think that would be really neat because what we're finding in our small village as much as we love it um, and we are very thankful to have a grocery store here. Mm -hmm. It's a very small grocery store and the produce can be expensive and not in great shape. Yeah. So if we can have a way, especially in the winter months, yeah. when say the farmer's market isn't going, we should have the farmer's market again next mm -hmm. month, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, that'll be great. <laughs> if we could just have yeah. some vegetables. Yeah. We could grow here. our own uh, squash and mm -hmm. like uh, grow some uh, strawberries. Uh, you know, th that'd be yeah. great. And, and again, Everything we've ever harvested from our hydroponic gardens has tasted yeah. absolutely wonderful. It's just a matter of having enough of it to mm -hmm. make a meal or something. You know, yeah. it's normally accents. You know, we have some tomatoes to throw in a salad mm -hmm. or some peppers mm -hmm. to do something with. But yeah. if we could grow some substantial vegetables, yeah. I think that'd be awesome. I mean, if you have, if you've ever done hydroponic garden, uh, let us know. Uh, you know your experience. Specifically, the farm or a larger yeah. hydroponic setup. Yeah, but I think we might. Uh, I think we might probably go to will. That, probably you know? in the fall. And, think about uh, it more seriously. You know, enjoy uh, sharing that with you. Yeah. Uh, but that's really kind of our update for this week. I um, uh, hope you enjoyed our, our walk video and uh, the images from our uh, hydroponic gardens. It's really cool. Uh, and it's really neat when uh, when uh, Laura like uh, pollinates yeah. and stuff. And I, I mean, what's really neat is harvesting stuff and eating it. So mm -hmm. anyway, that's our update again. Uh, let us know how you're doing. Uh, let us know what's going on with you and we are getting back in the running very, very slowly. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, the weather's changing here, uh, so it's it a brand new season. It feels like spring a little yeah. bit. Yeah, brand new um, season look, starting up. Short sleeves. Oh, well, yeah, that's right. I mean, I still have leggings and wool socks on, but I got short <laughs> sleeves on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, we really invested in uh, alpaca uh, socks, and oh, man, the they're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely the best. <laughs> yeah, you know? It is always an adventure with you. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.